Hey guys, welcome back to VBA A to Z. My name is Lung Pamai and in this short video, I'll show you how to create a file dialog box and let the user select the files they want to import the data from. Then we're going to reuse the code from our prior video to import the data. This question was submitted by Anmol Kumar. Let me quickly read it off. I have 100 Excel workbooks in a folder and I want to browse and select 95 Excel sheet and copy sheet 2 data of each Excel workbook. Before we begin, let me quickly show you a sample file that I put together. So if I open this workbook, the second tab has the data. Similarly, all these files are consistent. Though they have a different extension, .xlsm, the second tab of each of these files have a data. Similarly, here I have about 100 workbooks, uh, which is a replica of, of each of these ones. Okay, let's get started. Coming back to my editor. This is a sample code that I've copied from Microsoft Documents. I'll leave this link in the video description for your reference. So quickly walking you through this, what is this file dialog basically doing? Uh, I'll give you a quick demo first and then I'll show you how it works. So I'm going to run this. Now it lets me select multiple Excel files that I want to. If you look here, the filter is being put to XLS. Okay, so if I click on OK, so here it says three files were selected and these were the files that were selected. Okay, so walking you through the code, first declaring the, um, the dialog box object and then this is um, another variable to hold the name of the files from all the files that were selected. This is basically to create a pop-up box within that pop-up box which is uh, here. If you press Control i as an information, this is um, basically uh, to pick the file similarly if you want to pick a folder you can use um, this and then if you want to let the user open the file or save as the file you can use this too okay so if you turn this to uh, false you can only select one file the user can only select one file even if I press down shift and select I can still only select one file okay this part is where the first initial part is gonna the pop-up part is gonna come so if I change this to C drive for example the pop-up is gonna go to C drive as you can see this popping up the C drive let me just do the control Z there and here's basically this part is clearing the filter for the files and then adding a filter of all files and from all the files it's gonna filter out all the extension with XLS so it will include XLSB, XLSM, XLSX and so on and include even the XLS, the 2003 format after that it's going to show all the files here I'm basically printing out the, the count of the files and this part is looping through each of these files that I've declared here looping through all the files that were selected and printing out the name of the file Okay. coming down here this this code was basically from uh, our prior video what this code is going to do is basically open the file of the part that was already passed in the in the function parameter and then um, it's going to copy the data from there obviously we'll have to change some of the reference again and coming down here it's going to paste data to a sheet called clients and paste uh, paste the data there it's finding the row where to be pasted and then it's pasting the data here and so on so we'll change some of them First, I'm going to create a workbook variable because we want to copy and paste the data into a new workbook. So we'll call this team WBS workbook. This will be our. And we don't want to create a workbook straight away. Maybe um, sometimes it's possible the user did not select the file. So I'll just put a handler here that um, if the count of file is not equal to zero then we want to proceed else we'll just say message box file not selected something like that okay so if I quickly run this now and I click on cancel instead of, instead of selecting the file it's gonna say file not selected so we don't want to run the code if the file is not selected so if the file is selected within this within this condition I just want to add the new workbook then WBS um, so the WB will be our workbook where we want to paste our final data so we'll say workbook workbooks.add that will become our new workbook where we want to paste the data 
and here let's create a new variable called um, x workbook as workbook that is where we want to paste the data now uh, once we have the file name we're gonna call this code we're gonna say um, for now we'll just say get data from x file and paste it to this file so we want to paste it to this file and the file name will be this we'll pass this and then we'll say debug.print import status and then we'll say this clear another variable for current file name let's call this as um, okay so we're changing the variant to the string in this part and then passing this this is our source file this is where we want to paste the file okay continue so once it reaches this part it's going to call this function here and then it's going to take these two parameters the file that the user picked and then where it wants to be pasted it's going to pass that argument once it's here this part is going to open up okay here there is a small issue let's change this to um destination destination workbook because this same variable has been used in another in the other function okay now i'll say set this to nothing we'll just clear the memory there in case we forget later okay so once we're here um it's going to open up the source workbook from the folder and from the folder let me quickly show you one demo the user want to select data from sheet 2 of each file right so control g and then if i say now um if i try to get the sheet 2 name it's gonna give me au 500 which is this right so if i change this back if i drag this to here and i rerun this it's gonna give me sheet 2 okay so basically why i'm showing you this is we're just going to use sheet 2 as an index instead of using the name that way the code will pick up sheet 2 from the file okay so here instead of the name of the sheet i'll just put sheet 2 and then from column a we'll find out the last row which is the data just like this so if I print this now, give you 501 here. Once we have the last row, we'll copy the data from there. We'll say copy the data from sheet to range. Let's copy it from second, from the second row till K and the last row. Okay. So A is to K and this last row will become a variable here. So once the range is constructed, it's going to copy the data. Now it's going to go to instead of this workbook we want to paste the data to our destination workbook this one so this destination workbook has been passed to this parameter here and now we're gonna paste it here so with this workbook we're gonna paste the data to sheet one okay so we'll say paste will be in client in sheet one so let's say a new workbook is added like this this will be the the sheet where it will be pasted and then we'll say a will be the or the last row with data and again all this client will be changed to sheet one and then we want to paste in okay maybe we'll just paste it in b and um, we'll paste in a column we want to you know like uh, tag from where the data is being imported so it's it's good to know from where the data was copied from so it's going to paste to sheet one range 
B and whatever is the last row where the data is going to increment the data. So for example, if the data is being pasted here, the next time the data is being copied from is going to paste it down here and so on. This is the new LR after the data is being pasted. I'll just change this to B, B, and then we'll take, we'll, here is where we'll put in uh, our source workbook. So I think the code is ready. Let's give it a quick go. Let me first select only um, only a couple of files, and then we'll see the result. And once we're happy, um, we can run it for more files. Okay, so I'm gonna run it. Let me just select two files for now. Oops, I can only select one file now. Let's cancel this. Okay. I'll change this multiple, you know, a selection to through. Run it. Select the file. Click OK. Select two files. So two files printed there. Now I'm going to go through this F8. File name is being printed there. Now we start to go down here. As you can see, new workbook has been added. See if I just print uh, name. So that is book two. So book two is the one that is added right now. So going further, so it did not even go to this particular sheet, but it has already copied the data as you can see. So that, that way it's really fast. It doesn't have to select the sheet to be able to copy the data. So it has copied the data. Now it's going to um, our workbook here. And it's going to paste the data here. So our paste row is 2. Let's paste the data there. It's finding, you know, like the new, the new last row. And then it's going to apply the tag there. So you can see it says, OK, it's pasted from this file. So it's very useful to know where the data is being copied from. If you do not want that, you can change this to A, for example, and then you can ignore all this part of the Okay, I'll just run, you know, for another file. Let me quickly filter this. So there are two files. Data has been copied from two files. Okay, so once we're done with this, maybe we want to save the file as well. Before we clear the memory, here I'll say um, destination workbook dot save as, and then this will be the name of the file. So I'll just say save it to this folder for now call this master workbook xlsx and then the file format is going to be um, we'll just uh, save this as Excel, um, xml workbook okay that is xlsx now let me run through all the files um, we would also need um, to copy the headers for the first file. So if you want that, we can also do this team I header copied count or something like that. If not, we want to copy from two. So the first time it runs, we want to copy the headers. The second time it runs, we don't want to copy the headers. And then once this is done, we'll say this is equal to this plus one so that it does not copy the headers all the time. Okay, now I'm going to try and run to import data from all these files. I'm going to straightforward run this. I'm going to go into this folder. I'll select about 95 of them. Yep. And click OK. So it has started importing all the data from all these files. 
So it's completed. Let me quickly check um, our master workbook. Here's our master workbook. Okay, the header is pasted to this. Okay, that's that's still okay. So if you look here, these are all the files from where the data is being imported. And the record count is around 47,000. Okay.